Hey guys, my name is Chuck from Defiant Pest Control, and today on Killing, Chilling, and Grilling, I'm going to demonstrate one of the easiest ways to get your iguana from dock to dish, porch to pan, palm tree to the plate. And this is Field Dressing Iguana 101 using the Mexican cut. It's uh, taking the most meat off the carcass in the quickest time possible. So, if you're interested in uh, learning how to do something like that, Sit down, strap in, I'll show you how. Note to self, if you are squeamish or you do not want to see how to field dress a dead animal, this would be your opportunity to turn the video off right now. So, you've been warned. Enjoy. It's real live man shit going on. Hiding in the shrubbery. Look at that. Yeah, hey, we're just gonna hang out. Hide in the shrubbery. A sea of lizards in green. Chuck from Defiant Pest Control. Today we're gonna do what is called the Mexican cut on processing iguanas. As you can see, the first thing you need is one, a shitload of iguanas. Um, instead of going through and skinning all the iguanas, what we found, or what, what a lot of people actually do that are, you know, South American, from Honduras, Nicaragua, so on and so forth, Mexico, hence the name, they do what's called the Mexican cut. The meatiest part of the lizard, obviously, is going to be the tail and the legs. So what you're doing is you're removing the front legs and the hind legs, which are these, from the iguana's body. Now, one of the things of why you would move the hind legs is because there's a musk gland or a scent gland in there. It's pretty easy to do. All you do is you find yourself one average iguana and find a find the hip bones. So right in here, you can see where it's up to on the hips. You just give it a good cut. And you see that a bone hits right on that side. And you just go through that. Boom. Boom. There you have one leg. Throw that over in the pile. Same thing on the other side. Find the hip. Make a nice cut. Find the joint. And that is two legs. The front legs are just the same. Under the armpit, if you will. Is right here. Cut up. Under the shoulder blade. And off. Turn the knife up. One, two, three. There you go. Same thing on the other side, under the armpit area, one, two, three, there it is. As far as the tail goes, you want to get it right past the vent. There is a gland in here while we removed the back legs. There's a gland in here that kind of makes the meat taste, as they call it, gamey. What they want to do, or what you want to do, to make it as fresh as you can, through the anal vent, right behind there, and about six inches, you give it a good whack. So we'll take that vent, hit it with something sharp like an axe, bam. And you got that, six inches of meat, you can throw it in the pot, presto change -o. The rest of this iguana, there's not a whole lot of eatable meat. It's just all guts and rib cage, so that goes into the waste pile for a crab trap later. You're not gonna eat the fingers, so we give them a good chop off. Two chops. Right there at the wrist spot, three chops, and four chicken wings. Now, as you can tell, I got a whole lot more bonus to get, but that is how you do a quote unquote Mexican cut. You have a good one. Yeah, basted in uh, sweet teriyaki. Iguana fillets basted in, in sweet, sweet teriyaki. teriyaki. All right. Which are almost there, it looks like. And under here, we have Cajun iguana legs. Cajun iguana legs. Uh, we, we, took, uh, we took iguana, we uh, cleaned them, of course. We uh, marinated them in a Cajun Creole seasoning with a little bit of olive oil, slipped it onto a hot flat top, and uh, hopefully they turn out absolutely fabulous. <laughs> 
So we got Iguanami. Cajun iguana legs in sweet, sweet teriyaki. Braised. Braised. All right. Okay. Well, whatever you like. Oh my God. <laughs> it got the bomb, isn't it? <laughs> I haven't tried it yet. I'm just guessing. Dude, give me a fork, goddammit. <laughs> that son bitch is good. Cajun, teriyaki iguana and then Cajun iguana legs. Cajun iguana legs. It's like the best thing since sliced bread, right? All there. right. Here's Tash, you're gonna try a Cajun iguana leg. It's hot. All right. <laughs> uh huh. When you get the response of like this, and then she's like, I mean, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be the teriyaki iguana. Oh, my God. I got a Snapchat then. You're gonna snap you're gonna Snapchat it? <laughs>